Hi, I am Siyakshata Udupa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You might have heard a lot about support and resistance levels. Do you know this support level can act as a big confirmation for our trades? Whenever we take the trades, if we clearly understand how to interpret uh, using this uh, support and resistance levels, that can help you to a greater extent in taking your trades. So today in this video, let us check in a simple way how you can use these support levels to take the entries. Basically, I will be referring to the swing trades but the same applies even for the intraday trades. For intraday trades also in the shorter time frames, you can check the important support levels and you can see whether that point is the right or whether that is the right time for you to take the trades. Now, even if you are a intraday trader, always you will have to check with the larger time frame as to what is a major support level. And at that support level, if you use shorter time frame and then according to your strategy, if you take the trades, then most of the times it will turn out to be a good trade. So trading is not only about strategies, it is also about some common sense. So today in this video, let us check how to exactly interpret the support levels and how to decide whether you have to take entry at that point or should you wait. Before that, if you want to open a trading account, you can open it either with Zeroda Upstock or Ellis Blue using my referral link. If you open an account using my referral link, you will get my Haikanashi course for free. Also, you can check out my option buying course as well as our QTI indicator using the link that is given in the description. So yeah, now let us quickly get in and check out how to use the support levels in your trades. This interpretation applies everywhere that is be it nifty, be it bank nifty, be it fin nifty that you are using or for any stocks. Now uh, for example, I have taken one stock that is TCS. Okay, Let us start uh, checking this out from the time the uh, stock or market fell uh, at the time of Corona. Okay, From here if you check you can see a big fall that has happened here. Now, uh, whenever such incidents occur, that is uh, maybe uh, what we saw the pandemic or any other such big events, those things cannot be controlled. So whatever be your strategy, when there is some big event coming up or something uh, pandemic happens, you cannot uh, predict what exactly can happen. Whatever be your strategy, it's not going to work. However good you are in the analysis, it might not work. But in other circumstances, normal circumstances, if you are able to interpret the support and resistance levels well, then that can be of greater help to you. Now from here if you check, uh, here the stock once uh, fell drastically and this was not under our control and here we exactly don't know till what level the stock will fall and start rising up. So this is not a right time to take swing trades. So uh, if you clearly observe after a certain point the stock started to move in the upward direction. So here when you see higher highs are continuously formed. When these higher highs are formed, it gives us a confidence that from now on the market might recover. So from here on, if we uh, check for the major levels, you can see exactly at this point which was acting as continuous resistance is broken now. So here if you check, this major level of resistance was broken with a good volume. After that, the stock consolidated here for some time and then it started the rally. So from here, we will have to look for good support levels. So if you check over here, the stock gave a very good movement and it retraced at this point. So now we can say this is a major support for us from the time the stock started the rally. So usually what happens is people misunderstand that a particular price is the support price. For example, if we take this level, you will wait for exact 2603 to be met to take the entry. But support levels will not act that way. Support level is a range. So 
uh, if I take around these levels, it can be around 5 10 points above and 5 10 points below. So, here the support level can be around 2630 levels to around 2600 levels. So, why we say this as levels is because uh, you know uh, the stock might see a big boom when big players come in, right? When FII's, DII's, and other institutions buy, we see a big boom happening. Now, will the uh, FII's and DII's uh, manually sit and buy in bulk? Definitely no, right? They usually use a bracket. That is, they will place the order when the price is between say 2620 to uh, 2590. This will be their bracket depending upon the price of a particular stock. Now, if we say uh, the FII's buy during these uh, bracket, they will put the order at these levels. So, uh, whenever the stock again starts moving upwards, the uh, the uh, FII's will stop putting their orders and again when the price come to this level those pending orders which were not executed at this level will again execute and the stock will again start moving in the upward direction. This is one reason why the support level acts as a strong level for the bounce back. So first when you see over here the price comes at this level few orders will be placed big orders and you can see the price moves upwards again when the price comes down here again pending orders will be executed and again the stock will start moving in the upward direction this is the one reason second reason is these are the levels where retailers will also come in and put the entries that is why along with the FII's the retail traders will also combine and we will see a boom third reason is that whoever has taken short positions at these levels will book their profits over here so when these three things are combined it will give again a very good boom for a particular stock or index. That is the reason these levels will act as a strong uh, zone from where the stock might bounce back. So, you can see over here this was a first support again price came down and at this level again we saw a, a very good quantity of buying happening and then we saw a stock gave a very big upward movement. Now, let us see what can be the next support level. Here you can see uh, over this level wherein previously this level acted as resistance and now again somewhere at this zone we see a good support coming in. So, if we say around this is a level of support you can see again for the next time that is um, once the stock gave a very good bounce and here again it could not uh, come to this level. But here you can see again at exactly same level we saw a, some big activity happening and after that again stock moved in the upward direction. Now let us check for the next support. Either this can be the support or we also have another support level now that is this zone. So you can see for the next time also we saw a very good bounce back over here right again the stock moved in the upward direction. Next if you see for the next time the stock did not come till this level instead we have another new uh, level coming up that is around these levels that is around 3210 to uh, 3100. So, you can just extend these levels and keep so that whenever the price comes near that level that can be our entry point. So, if you see if you extend these level you can see the stock reacted at this level right and here again another level was formed that is if I draw this bracket it is somewhere at these levels and here again two times we saw that the stock respected this level right and for the third time it gave a breakdown. So, whenever you uh, take the trades you can keep a stop loss just below the these levels. Now, we cannot say exactly what is that level you can keep around 10 to 20 points that is if the price of the stock is small you can keep 10 points above 10 points below if the price of the stock is very big like if it is around 3000 to 4000 then you can keep around 20 points above and 20 points below and decide what is a bracket. Similarly, if you go on checking at any level you take there is a strong support level from where we see a bounce back. Now, this applies to any stock if we take another stock say 
uh, I'll take Kendra Bank. You can do the same uh, analysis for any stock. It will give you the uh, same logic that is a strong support level can act as a strong bounce back area. So here from any point if you check you can see over this acted as a support zone now for the first time and from there you can see again and again we saw a good bounce back happening at these levels right. You can see every time the stock respected this level and here you can see the next level was formed above the previous level. So now this will become your major um, support level that is around these levels, these zones. So you can just keep this zone as one of the support levels. So whenever the price comes near this zone that can be your entry point. Next you can see the stock did not reach this level instead before coming to this level here we saw another good support being formed. So you can just keep this level as another uh, reference level so that whenever the price comes to this level you can go about and take the trades. But uh, from here this particular stock is just doing its rally. So you can see which is the next important uh, level. Here if you observe as of now you can just be prepared with this level and whenever you see the price coming back to this level that can be your entry point. Now it is not that you can use only this particular strategy and take the trades. You can combine any other strategies along with this strategy and then decide on your entry point so that your entry will be a smarter entry. Uh, similarly even if you are trading intraday then you can see that be prepared with these levels and whenever you see that price comes to these levels you can go for shorter time frames and do intraday trading as well by applying any other intraday strategies. So whenever you take swing entries make sure that you take the entries when the stock is in the dip and not when it is in the peak. So your entry should be at the support levels and not at the resistance levels. Now I hope it's clear for you as to how you have to identify the support levels. As and when the stock moves you have to keep updating the support levels and be ready with that bracket so that whenever the uh, big institutional players invest that will be the same time when you also put your money so that you will also be in the race and make some good money um, in the swings. So yeah I hope uh, this video was helpful to you if so please give it a like and also don't forget to join our free telegram channel that is Udupa Finance for more updates. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. I will be back again with another informative content. Till then take care. Bye bye.